world this is what's up to when i'm zero fleet hacker and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create your own torrent for free on mac os x linux or windows torrents are file sharing basically what happens is you download an information file the user downloads an information file like this and adds it to their torrent client whether it be uTorrent, views or whatever torrent client they're using and using this information file the torrent client looks up the IP addresses to connect to and downloads the file. Now here's one thing that might be asked. Are torrents illegal? No, they're not. Torrents are just a way of downloading files and file sharing. However, a lot of the times, yes, they are used for piracy, which is illegal, so keep that in mind. I'm saying piracy is illegal, not torrents. So once you've got uTorrent on your computer, I'm going to be showing you how to do a uTorrent just click, just open uTorrent up, then click on file, create new torrent. It might be add torrent for new Windows versions, but just click create new, but just click on that. And then for select source, what you'll want to do is just click add file and then browse to the file that you want to um, use for your torrent. I'll be using this test torrent.txt file and if you're curious it's just a file that's a, a blank text file that says nothing but test torrent then just click open and then for the trackers you'll want to put these two which will be in the description but you should try you can try looking up more trackers on google if you want basically trackers are connections that help keep the uh, torrent downloadable so it's good to have as many as possible then what you want to do is just come up here. You want to check start seeding. If, it, if this is not checked, you definitely want to check it. Because basically what seeders are, are people who are uploading information for the torrent for people to download. And torrents need to have people seeding them in order for people to, e for people to successfully download them. Because with no seeders, there's no people uploading the information for the torrent. And thus, it can't be downloaded. If you want it to be a private torrent, private torrent, check this one. If you want it to be an encrypted torrent, check this one. Then once you once you're done here, all you have to do is click create. Then browse to where you want to save the torrent information file to, and then just name the torrent when you want your torrent to be named, and then just click save. Ignore this one part for me. Then just click minimize and then here is our dot torrent file the dot torrent file is the information file where your tor torrent client will look up will basically look up where to download the, f the file from so once you've got this file that's about it really all you have to do is upload it to whatever website you want people to download to download your torrent from and then all they have to do is just download this information file from where you upload it for them to download to and then just they, they just add it to their torrent client and then their torrent client will connect to you and download the file from you f through, the, through the torrent connection. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190 Fleet Hacker and I'm signing off. Have a nice day and I'll see you next video.